The sinking in 1945 is still considered one of the greatest tragedies in U.S. naval history. The USS Indianapolis's remains were just recently discovered some 72 years after its loss, and they were discovered by an expedition team led by Microsoft billionaire and philanthropist Paul Allen. What they found is truly fascinating. Oh, there you go. New images, both haunting and revealing. That's an unbelievable amount of damage from that torpedo. Show the devastation there, caused by two Japanese torpedoes that hammered the USS Indianapolis on July 30th, 1945, while en route to the Philippines. Look at that. The ship was carrying almost 1,200 men and had completed its top secret mission to the island of Tinian, where it delivered components for the atomic bomb. The high-tech expedition that discovered the Indianapolis closes a tragic chapter of World War II history for the families and survivors of those lost at sea. Ensign John Wolston remembers when the first torpedo hit. I left Damage Control Central at exactly midnight. Five minutes afterwards, there was this rather uh, huge boom. Within 12 minutes, the Indianapolis was fully submerged. I think it was pretty obvious that that we'd had it. 300 men went down with the ship and nearly 900 were thrust into the shark infested waters of the Pacific. A lot of people who were seriously injured uh, uh, died and almost all of them died in somebody's arms. Yeah. Uh, a couple in mine. More than four days later, help finally arrived. Only 316 of the 900 who abandoned ship survived long enough to be rescued. Now our situation was no flotation gear, no food, no water. Wolston is one of only 19 remaining Indy survivors, and he reached out to expedition team leader Rob Kraft and asked to view the ship's remains. We suspect that she hit stern first, and it was the force that um. collapsed her. They watched a video of the Indy together on board another historic Navy vessel the USS Battleship Missouri in Pearl Harbor. The bow went down faster and, and the stern kick, kicked up until it was very, very steep before it went down. Of course, I never dreamt that I would be able to see it. Even though the momentous discovery solves one of the biggest maritime mysteries of World War II, the exact location of the USS Indianapolis remains a secret. The wreckage will be preserved as a military gravesite to honor all the men who served and died on board the historic ship. The Indianapolis lies so deep within the Pacific Ocean, it's actually one mile farther down than the final resting place of the Titanic. Paul Allen's research team is not disclosing the precise coordinates of the ship's location, but they are authorized to continue to monitor that site in accordance with laws governing war graves. For more information on how to watch the live broadcast of the expedition, the USS Indianapolis Live from the Deep, go to today.com. The live feed, the broadcast, they start tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern, guys. Okay, Craig, thank you very much. Now Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.